रूल टेन रूल्स ऑफ बुल एन अलजीबा हाई ऑल इन दिस वीडियो वी शेल गो अबाउट अंडरस्टैंडिंग रूल नंबर टेन द रूल नंबर टेन ही सेज दैट वॉट इज द रूल नंबर टेन दैट इज गिवन इट इज ए प्लस ए बी इज इक्वल टू ए टू स्पीक करेक्टली विथ रेस्पेक्ट टू बुल एन अलजीबा इट इज ए और ए एंड बी इज इक्वल टू ए दिस इज वॉट वी हैव टू प्रूव सो हाउ डू वी प्रूव प्रूव दिस let us consider the lhs so as we generally know that okay so all the equations all the equations will be containing two parts the first one is your lhs lhs and the second part is your rhs so generally we consider lhs and we prove rhs okay then by considering the lhs okay we can just write down the lhs what is lhs a plus ab is equal to a by considering this part of the equation the common term in this equation is a and a that is why we take a as common once we take a as common the left out part in the first and the second term is 1 plus b okay so by using rule number 2 we know that 1 plus b is equal to 1 because a plus 1 is equal to 1 1 plus a is nothing but equal to 1 that is why 1 plus b also goes to 1 this whole term will become 1 okay the value of the whole term becomes 1 when the value of whole term becomes 1 then it is understood that the equation will become a and 1 the equation will become a and 1 we know that from the rule rule number 4 that a and 1 is equal to a so from that rule by using rule number 4 we can write it as a and 1 is equal to a and this is what your rhs is all about what do you mean by rhs right hand side of the given equation so by considering the lhs by considering the lhs we have reached we have considered the lhs of the equation we have reached the rhs of the equation because of that because of that we say that we proved rule number 10 by using the rules the previous rules rule number 2 and rule number 4 and this is how we understand rule number 10 okay i thought that you people have understood if you do have any doubts ask me your doubts